What's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Um, I'm doing a, this is the uh, first podcast I'm doing. It's a series of new things I'll be doing a little bit of just for something new and more fun. Um, well, today's topic is about the uh, imagine that the coronavirus. I think this is hilarious, quite frankly. You got all these people like freaked out about it for essentially nothing. And so you time to go to the store to find something, you can't find shit. And for example, I went to the store earlier to find chicken nuggets, and that's what I was wanting to eat for dinner tonight. I didn't find that brand of chicken nuggets I like, so I had to settle with some dinosaur chicken nuggets, which aren't bad, but it's, yeah, I should I should be eating the chicken nuggets I like. Mm. These are still good, but the other ones are even better. Mm. But I went in the store about a well, after midnight or so. Just to do my routine shopping, I shop every couple of weeks. And I do it for two weeks or a month or whatever, depending on how much I feel like spending at the time to do it all. But I did it, and they didn't have like much enough, and they didn't have the like that had like next to no bread. They had like very little water. They had no toilet paper, <laughs> no napkins, uh, anything like that. So that was definitely weird. They had very little peanut butter, which I was like, oh, that's that's a problem. There's no peanut butter. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was, less, I was, like, amazed by it. The canned food was, like, gone. Stuff like that. Ammo was looking scarce. So I was like, oh, shit, that's no shit. I was sitting around talking to my uncle earlier today. He's retired out of the Army after 27, 28 years. He... Well, I guess when he ranked out, he was a, uh, got out of the Army, I should say. He was a chief warrant officer for, I believe is what he is, or something like that. I, th I think that's what it was. But I was talking to him today about it and stuff like that. And it brought up a bunch of conversations. So I was just like, oh, this would be funny. I should make a video about this tonight. So I talked to him about it. And he said, <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, all these Chinese people are giving uh, other Chinese people the virus trying to control the uh, rioting and all that stuff in Hong Kong about their uh, protests and stuff. So he's like, it's all their fault for starting this and spreading this. He goes, they're just trying to control their people. <laughs> he went on for a rant for that. It was great. So he was, uh, was ranting about it. And I was like, oh, and then I thought of this idea. Well, not an idea, but something I see all the other day at um, Academy Sports. And there's a local sporting goods store. So I was like, I was like, oh, dude. The other day I was at Academy and I seen that group of like four or five, I think they were, I think they're Chinese, I believe. I'm, I'm normally a pretty good judge of what, who somebody is, but there's people who were buying uh, ammo. They were buying 9 mil, 223, the 5.56, five, and then some 7.62, and I noticed that they had a few boxes of 308. So I was like, oh wow. At first I didn't pay much attention to those I was looking at first. And all of a sudden, they just start grabbing boxes off the shelf. And I tell you what, no fucking shit. And they pick these boxes off and they start setting them in the cart. I bet these people had a few thousand rounds in each cart. There was like two or three carts. And turning all the carts and stuff, they had probably close to 10,000 rounds. So this is no joke. And they go up and then they'll leave go up to the front. And I was like, holy shit. So me and this, this other guy are standing there looking at each other like, what do they know that we don't know? <laughs> Why do they just buy that much ammo like, all at once? Especially, you, know, you can buy it in bulk online and save a ton of money, but they just bought it off the shelf on the spot. I was like, holy shit, that's fucking insane. So I went back today after talking to my uncle a little about it, and he was telling me, he's like, yeah, the Chinese are invading. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, that's not good. So... <laughs> Hmm. Oh, that, was, that went down the wrong pipe. But, uh, you know, the Chinese are invading, and uh, I should be stocking up on my own ammo at home and all that. I mean, if you watch my channel, then you know I have a few rounds, setting rounds, so to say. But, uh, oh, yeah, Natty Light, gross, but it's cheap, and I didn't really spend, feel like spending extra money for a drink that wasn't going to last. So. But... Oh, what was I saying? Lost my train of thought, damn. Oh, but uh, I was talking to him about that and stuff, so he was making jokes about it and stuff like that. 
saying how they're trying to invade us from the inside out and all that. I was like, I was like, oh, all these great conspiracy thoughts, right? And me and him, just, we went to town with it. And later on, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, by the way, my uh, grandmother, she was asking me, was like, if I have found um, a toilet paper in the stores, and I was, I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody has. Why? She's like, oh, I'm, I'm running out. And I was like, oh, that's not good. You're running out of toilet paper roll. So she's um, 74, I think. I think she's 74 now. But she was telling me about it and stuff. I was like, oh, I was like, oh okay. So I said something to my uncle about it. And he's like, he's like, oh, well, you better. He's like, you better go look for her. So I was like, yeah, I guess I better. So <laughs> I, like, I went... Uh, I was talking to my aunt about it, and I was talking to my aunt, and no joke, my cousin calls while I'm talking to my aunt, and he's like, hey, do you guys have any spare toilet paper? And my aunt was like, um, yeah, I think we have some, we could spare, why? And he's like, oh, I can't find none nowhere. <laughs> I was like, oh, this isn't good. So I guess he talked to my aunt for a little bit, and she's like, yeah, come by if you need to, we'll, I'll give you toilet paper. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is great. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah come by and i'll give you some and all that so my uncle he was telling me he goes he goes yeah if your grandma's wanting some he goes i think i can probably give you a couple rolls you could take to her <laughs> and i was just like oh okay so he ended up giving me two rolls to take to her and stuff so <laughs> but so i after i was about to leave his house and then my uncle calls back to my aunt he's like hey he goes hey never mind uh i'm not coming out for a toilet paper <laughs> He, he's like i found some at uh i think it was yeah it was walmart it was one of the walmarts i was actually kind of on my way to my grandma's house which is kind of ironic so he he found some about an hour goes by and i was told my uncle so i was like well you know telling it took me 20 25 minutes easy to get to that walmart by then all the toilet paper is gone <laughs> so an hour goes by and i was told my uncle i was like all right well i'm gonna head to town i guess and he lives out in the middle of I wouldn't say middle nowhere, but he lives out in the country for sure, though. But, uh, so I told him I was going to go to town and all that. And so he's like, okay. So I went by that Walmart, just thinking maybe there's a fruit change. They just happen to have a few bundles left, right? To my amazement, they actually did. They had, I want to say overall, maybe 50 close. I mean, that's counting four packs, six packs. Eight, twelve packs, whatever. How big the bundles are, I don't even remember now. But so I went over there and I was like, okay, well, I was like, I was like, I personally could probably use a, f a few rolls. And I know my grandma said she needed some. And my aunt lives with my grandma and all that. And so I was like, okay, two women and then my little sisters go over there and all that. So I was like, okay, I'll get them a couple of deals. So two, two bundles. Um, what were they? Six packs, I think. Yeah, they're six pack bundles off the shelf, and I started kind of carrying them away. And then I made a calm and i was like oh i got i got white gold or yeah that's what it was white gold I was like oh i've got white gold and then one of the uh ladies that works there she's like she's like oh yeah that's something that's been a big thing and i'm sitting there i wonder like, man i wonder if i could trade this toilet paper right here for a couple ounces of gold <laughs> i mean make a big investment or something right there right so i call my aunt anyhow and go and I'm like, hey, do you still need some turd paper? Um, I, I have a couple bundles in my hand. And she said, oh, we have a little bit. I guess um, my other uncle found some in a store, so he brought them some. And so he, <laughs> so he brought them some, I guess not much, but just, just enough. They're going to get by for a few days. And so I said something in my hand. I was like, well, I got two in my hand right now. This will probably last you a, few, a week or two, I hope. I mean, surely God, between two fucking women, that should last a couple of weeks, right? I mean, a four-pack lasts me over a month, personally, by myself. So and she, I said something. She's like, yeah, sure, bring it on over and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I went ahead and bought it. And it was like nine bucks or something stupid shit like that. Well, nothing crazy. Um, I go over to my aunt's house afterwards, and my grandma's going to give them the toilet paper. <laughs> This is so good. I crack up every time I think about this. So I'm sitting there talking to my grandma about this. And she's like, you know, 2020, that's the year. Like, everybody was thinking, like, we'd have, like, flying cars. And we'd have, like, all sorts of badass technology and stuff. You know, there's a fucking toilet paper scare. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. This, one day, something we're going to be laughing back at in time. Like, I'll be, 
50, 60 years old or something like that. I'm going to be like, tell my grandkids or whatever, be like, oh, I remember back in 2020. <laughs> there, there was a toilet paper scare. You couldn't find it. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. It'll be a hell of a time. But <laughs> a toilet paper scare. Uh, oh, but going back to the other items now, I was doing some shopping tonight and stuff, doing my uh, shopping I normally do. I'm just getting like potato chips, peanut butter and jelly, just random stuff I use throughout the week, spread and shit like that. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, ammo. Uh, Start the ammo real fast. Um, I went to Academy tonight thinking like, oh, maybe I'll get a box of shells and I'll go shoot a few rounds tonight and stuff like that. Uh, the local gun range. Well, I go, they have like next to no AR ammo on the shelves, like two, two, three, five, five, six. I think there was some that really high end ammo, like 30 or so dollars, $35 a box for 20. I was like, holy shit, I'm not using, I'm going to buy that or just practicing like just target shots, just basic shots. It was like, no. I would only buy that for like something serious, like hunting from something serious or something stupid like that. I wouldn't, no, that, there was no way. But, and handgun ammo. I remember there was a few boxes of some shitty ass steel case ammo that I was like, oh hell no, I'm not putting that shit in my guns. I'd, it's a no no. So there's some of that, and um, I've seen a couple boxes of 45. I have a few boxes. I don't really shoot my 45 like ever at all. It's only it's a it's a max. I mean, it's just for fucking around pretty much. But so I inside I was like, okay, well after seeing all that, I'm not gonna buy any handgun ammo tonight because it really isn't much. So I didn't buy any ammo. But then oh, we're going back to the Walmart. I'll share some. I'll post some videos here towards the end of the video, like what I found. When I went to Walmart to shop tonight. But with the shelves, though, it was like walking into an empty store almost. I was like, holy shit. This is like a well, lot for midnight, too. But, yeah, the toilet paper and all that roll was empty. Like, the shelves were just bare. I was like, holy shit. What, what happened to everything? I couldn't believe it. I was like, no, this is not happening. So I go through that roll, and I'm like, all right. I'm just kind of like walk through and see nothing. I was like, well, <laughs> I should have saw that coming. So, uh, <laughs> I went on to do the next deal. I found beer. A lot of the, like, the decent quality beer, like, I like to drink, like, Michel Ultra, Coors Light, stuff like that. Something decent, you know? Like, not just, like, Bush or Natural Light or Bud Ice or something gross. A lot of that cheap beer was, it was there, but, I mean, it was maybe 15 cases of it. I mean, it wasn't much, stuff like that. And you had, like, the early drinks were obviously still there, because... Girls don't think to stock up on alcohol during a big crisis, you know. Oh my god, it's a crisis. We gotta stock up on our fruit drinks. That <laughs> never happens. <laughs> well, <laughs> but so I found some best water, right? Keystone. Not all things. Keystone. I think it's Keystone Light. So I found that. I ain't drinking that shit. Fuck that. That's gross. I have a grandfather who drank that for years and years. Oh, I couldn't stand the smell of that shit. I used to go out and work in the hayfields with him and all that stuff all the time. He's always drinking that. He'd just wake up in the morning, bam. He'd pick up a can, crack that thing open. He wouldn't put a can down to him to bed at night. It was like, whoa, dude, you need to chill with that. But, yeah, it's really biting him back now. He's older and have some health issues, but that's yeah, not up for discussion. Um, oh, I went on the water aisle. Because I'd normally get the Great Valley brand water. Well, I have to take it with me to work and stuff like that. Being somewhat healthy, you know. So, really didn't find, I, well, I didn't find any Great Valley brand, actually. There was a few of those, like, gallon deals of water. There was a few of those, but it wasn't, like, the uh, cheaper ones. It was, like, the more, like, a, it was $3 for a gallon of water. It was, like, holy shit. <laughs> Somebody needs to go out there and just drink out of a mud pole. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I was like, I seen that and I was like, oh my God. Uh, and then they had some days in the water. They didn't, which they really didn't have much of that at all. I was actually kind of surprised. I was like, oh my, you're missing a bunch of water here. What's up with this? So, I went through that. I went down the potato chip aisle because I like taking potato chips with me and stuff to work and stuff like that. 
and we're just snacking on them and chilling at the house. Um, wow. There really was not much for potato chips. It was kind of kind of depressing. I was like, holy shit, like what happened, what happened to potato chips? People are like going AWOL over potato chips. Oh, that's stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, what was oh rice and beans. I went down the rice and bean aisle. I know I made that mistake, right? Just being the comical person I am, I like to check things out. I'm nosy. Yeah, so I went down the rice and bean section. Oh my god. There was like next to none, like the whole grain, like long grain wheat, not wheat, just regular rice. Well, yeah, there wasn't much of any of it. Like you might, might have found like one little bag or something like that. And I was like, uh, you know, like some of that ready rice, a 90 second rice, whatever it's called. Yeah. Rice rolling in the cup deals like that you put in the microwave. So yeah, I couldn't even find one of those. I was like, oh, damn, people are getting crazy. Um, beans, you can, well, actually, no, there wasn't any beans, I don't think, I don't think there was a single bag of beans up there. Oh, Germex, <laughs> I thought I found <laughs> a bottle of Germex, <laughs> there was like, there was no Germex, <laughs> I thought I found it sitting on a roller where the toilet paper and napkins would be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was not a bottle of Germex. I picked it up. It was like some like, soap type shit. I was like, oh, whoops. <laughs> Set it back down like that. Oh, God. <laughs> I was going to tear the Germex around and then give it to the cashier and I'm just leaving. <laughs> but, uh, oh, um, br the bread section. Yeah, I couldn't find any of uh, the bread. I like I like this wheat bread. It's a cheap, great value brand. It's actually, I like it really good. It's like 88 cents. I'm like, oh, that's cheap. That's good. It's healthy. Yeah, they didn't have any, like, they had, like, I think they had some bagels, maybe so some hamburger buns, I mean, some, like, four or five dollars a loaf bread. I was like, holy shit, bread, four or five dollars a loaf? You know, so they had a few, they had a few rolls of that, like, not rolls of loaves, but yeah, they had a few of that. I was like, oh my god, that's expensive for a loaf of bread. Oh, um, and then the canned food. Went down the canned food aisle, made that mistake, right? Yeah, that was pretty, um, pretty sad. Like, Campbell's chicken noodle soup, shit like that. Yeah, no. I was like, next to gone. Um, like raviolis and stuff like that, spaghetti and stuff like that can. Yeah, there was maybe the half a, half the stock that there normally is, which was kind of, to me, I was like, I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. It's not much, really. And so I was kind of like, looking at that and they were kind of like stocking what there was so i think some of that was they just stocked it that's why it was some of it was there um rom yeah ramen noodles that's what it is and then ramen noodles that was like next to like gone i think there's just like a couple cases left on the bottom and then you'd find like one or two like little of those um ramen noodles on a cup thing or whatever like like the 40s or something like the 40 cent deals or some stupid shit like that Yeah, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Even the ramen people people on AWOL thinking they're gonna be stuck up in their house for quarantine <laughs> eating ramen all the time. <laughs> mm. I went through the frozen food section thinking maybe I'll find like Tartoni's pizza or was it a Tony's pizza or some stupid shit like that just to have a pizza for lunch on Sunday afternoon. Probably uh, watch TV or something like that for a bit. Hey, they didn't have like anything like that. I mean, they still had, like those like ten dollar frozen pizza deals or twelve dollar ones or whatever the hell they are. Yeah, they had some of those still. I was like, what the fuck? Like all the tortonis and all that stuff gone. I was like, no shit. The healthy, uh, like the Jenny Craig diet type shit. Yeah, you know, they had a bunch of that. I was like, I was like, oh, whoa, <laughs> nobody wants that Jenny Craig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? We had a bunch of that. Well, he he healthy shit, as they say. It's not healthy. It's fucking made of bullshit. Um. Yeah, so they had a bunch of that. Um, the meat section was looking pretty bare. It was like I was like, oh shit. And so I was like, well, that's not good. I mean, they had. Pretty much everything they had 
on the shelves was looking like it was like stocked like that day like within i'd say less than six hours or so i mean everything looks like you normally you can if you know anything about like butchering meat or anything like that you could look at it and tell like it's relatively newer and it's in that nature of stuff um yeah all this meat looked really fresh and stuff like that and they were trying to they had a bunch of carts and pallets laid out and stuff like that where they put meat up so i was like i was like oh cool they have some meat on the shelves i guess I was looking for chicken nuggets, and they didn't have the chicken nuggets I wanted, which pissed me off still. So I'm settling for fucking dinosaur nuggets. But, I mean, these aren't bad, I guess. I mean, they're a little cheaper. That's surprising. But they're not bad. Um. Oh, the last thing, now. I want to check out this guy, you know. His name is Zach. He was the, uh, he's a cashier here at the Walmart. I think you actually might follow me here on the YouTube, actually. But, um, if you're watching, dude, what's up? Uh, I want to purchase and pay for all my items, stuff like that. And, and I was like, there's a one register in Illinois where you can, like, purchase, like, tobacco and alcohol products, that stuff, like, the little shooter deals and stuff. I was thinking, I was like, oh, okay, I'll probably give me, like, a little shot or something like that just for, before I go to bed or whatever, help my sleep a little bit. Yeah, they had, like, no shots or little shooters, whatever you call them, the little 50 milliliter ones. Yeah, they had, like, none of that. And I was like, what? And then they had some, like, the bigger deals. But I was like, I don't want a big deal. I don't need a big deal. But I was just like, holy shit. Like, even those are just gone. Like, people are losing their fucking mind. No Germax, napkins, toilet paper, hand sanitizers, um, Lysol, toilet paper, Rice and beans, meat, water. I mean, just all this stuff was just gone. Potato chips and stuff. It was ammo. It was gone. I was like, oh my god, people are legitimately thinking we're having a crisis over here. <laughs> so, I'll uh, <coughs> I'll post a um, some clips from walking through the Walmart here at the attached to the end of this video, uh, and you can kind of see what I was looking at from my view and all that. There was people around, there's some workers around. Some people know me, some people don't. I didn't want to get in trouble or anything like that for filming in Walmart, you know. Like something a bunch of YouTubers have done. But yeah, so you know how that is. But yeah, I'll post uh, some of the videos towards the end of this at the very end of this video. You can watch them and see what I seen and stuff like that. But um yeah, this would be like a new thing I'll do with um like a podcast series. I'll like, I'll try to do it like once a week or something like that. And no, sometimes I'll put on have like friends come on the show with me, like people are like military cops or something like that. Some talk about cool tactical stuff or gun stuff, something of that nature. Or just a, a friend I just want to BS with, talk about some stupid conversation. But um, I'll add those videos and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> until the next video, guys, just be sure and like hit the like button, subscribe button, um, the bell icon, let you know when I upload more cool stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, until next time, guys, be sure and wash your bone holes. <laughs>